Soul Shine Reiki healing friends. I thought I'd come on and do a quick video on how to smudge yourself or cleanse yourself. So you have a couple of options here. You can either use an incense, that's perfect, it's fine. Um, you can use a bundle of sage or Palo Santo and some type of fireproof um, like shell or plate or bowl or something. Um, all you really want to do is just think of a phrase like, it's called a smudge prayer. Into this smoke, I release all negativity that no longer serves me. So you'll just light your Palo Santo or your sage, which by the way, I am getting some in next week from a small family run business. Um, I'm super excited. So I'll post about it when it comes in. All right, so again, make sure that you have your prayer. They're all over Pinterest. I've posted them on Facebook before, um, but the one that I love is super easy. It just says, into this smoke, I release anything that is no longer serving me. If you have a window that you can open, that would be great. I'm at my office. There are people out there, so I can't really open the door right now, but I will in a minute. Um, so light whatever you wanna use. Start at the crown of your head and just work your way down over your arm under your arm. You're not really gonna be able to see this part, um, but I'm going to lift my leg up. I think it was Kelly who said that you have to lift your feet up and cleanse under your feet, which for years, I swear, I've never done. I didn't even think about it, but it makes so much sense because that's where all, all of our energy releases, right? Well, not all of it, but a majority of it. Lift under my other foot. And then under your other arm, and again, saying in your mind or out loud that you're releasing anything into this smoke that is no longer serving you. Oh, I need to relight it. And that happens often. It's not normal. I mean, it's not, uh, it is normal to have to relight it a couple times, especially if you're in Florida or anywhere else where it's 90 degrees humidity. So then I just did the whole front of my body like that. I did the outline right. And then I just did the front, and now I'm just going to do the back. Be careful. I've done this for a number of years, so I don't really keep my fireproof container nearby, but please do. Please be careful. Um, so then you just put it out. <clears throat> if you have sand, it's super easy to put it out in sand, especially if it's sage. The sticks are much easier to put out because it's just a piece of wood. Um, again, all you have to do is just light it. Think of your smudging prayer. Into the smoke, I release anything that is no longer serving me, any negative energy. And then just do all around your body. Remember, lift your feet up in between your legs, lift your other foot up, top, bottom, everything, in the front, in the back. And it's that easy. Um, I like to do this between every single client. Um, I like to do this every day after I'm done at work. And of course, anytime that I feel sluggish or I feel like I need a good cleansing or any full moon, any new moon pretty much every day that's pretty much it <laughs> all right comment below if you have any questions